We're delighted to present the ANTHAS annual report for 2020, a year where we collectively face the challenges that the COVID-19 pandemic brought about, particularly with regard to disrupting adult and community education. Firstly, I want to thank you, our members, for your deepened engagement over the 60 online meetings that we had, to the fantastic AIMS team who went above and beyond, and our wonderful board and chair who provided essential strategic direction in challenging and uncertain times. To focus on key outcomes of our work, firstly, the Adult Learners Festival, and how fortunate we were to have the opportunity to have in-person events, from the Star Awards, where we got to celebrate the fantastic work and projects across the island of Ireland, to the Policy Day on the Friday, where we focused on 20 years since the publication of the White Paper, with a specific uh, lens of looking at how community education is funded and its contribution it makes to educational equality. When we moved to working online, we were invited to be part of the department's COVID-19 tertiary education steering group. And this provided us with an opportunity to feed in the perspectives of learners who share them through the National FET Learner Forum and from community education providers who are articulating their issues through the community education network meetings and through our webinars. As part of that work, I chaired the Mitigating Educational Disadvantage Working Group. And over the course of 21 meetings and 10 papers that we produced, we put forward a funding proposal for community education. This resulted in us securing a mitigating education disadvantage fund to the tune of 8 million. This was really positive and an essential fund to meet the needs of our members and learners at local level who were struggling with the engagement, um, with mental health issues, and all of the other challenges that uh, arose during the pandemic. When we had a number of meetings last year, what we found is there was a huge sense of solidarity um, across the sector and being able to have an opportunity to come together uh, engage in meetings in a participatory and dialogue driven way, which was even possible to do online. From the launch of the Adult Learner Journal to our virtual meeting that we invited Minister Harris, um, and who is a member of the new Department of Further and Higher Education Research Innovation Science and overseeing that department, was a real opportunity to give him a first hand opportunity to listen to community education providers and the impact community education has on learners. To top off the year, uh, what better way than to hear the learner voice? We launched the I'm a Fight Learner book, booklet, and this provided us with a great um, opportunity to listen to learners and the value and importance of learner voice. Uh, we're going to forward now and look at a number of different photos and videos. massive for us to actually get recognition for all the hard work we're doing in the community and for the young people of the community, we won this for them. For me now, I would say community education through UNCOSAN has empowered me and supported me to support others and promote integration and be a strong advocate. It's the stories that you remember and it's the emotional connect. Um, you know, so it's great that stakeholders, whether it's the SULAs, the ETBs, that they listen to the stories. You know, we can do all our um, 
reports and all that, but on paper, it, it can't give you the emotion of actually speaking to a learner and the impact of their learning on them. It's really important that there's visibility to the voices of the adult learner and that the adult learner's voice is heard and is heard within the system, within the services, that everything we do and provide is based on the needs of the learner. Thank you.